What's up guys, it's TechnoViking23 coming to you today with some Raid Shadow Legends and it is Friday. I hope you guys have had a good week. Another episode of Free to Play Friday. Uh, we are just finishing up some Doom Tower here. Uh, I think this is floor 110 on normal. We're just finishing up the normal Doom Tower on the Free to Play account before we try to progress on the hard one this time with Bommel being floor 10 on the hard one on the Free to Play account. It's a little bit more difficult. Um, so we, I don't know if we're going to be able to push that this time around, but we're at least going to finish the normal tower like usual and get some of these resources. And it's kind of important right now as well because we are in the middle of the Helicath fusion. So being able to pick up a little bit of extra energy, the gems, potions, all that stuff uh, from the Doom Tower is uh, pretty cool. Now this is my my, <laughs> my pretty much uh, main free-to-play team here. Ninja, Sil, Jareg, Rosin, and Drexlar for the five. Champions were obtainable just by playing the game before, so pretty easy team to build that can take out the uh, Eternal Griffin. Even on the hard tower, this is a team that would probably work there. Uh, we, we farmed the floor 10 hard tower with the same team, so pretty easy getting through 110 there. So we are going to go ahead and get out of this, and let's go check and see what is going on right now. Uh, I think we may run a clan boss key here. We're going to try to keep it a short episode as we've been doing on the free to play Friday so far but here we go we are in the middle of the fusion and we are going very hard at this fusion I really want to get this legendary this is probably the hardest I've ever gone at a fusion on the account uh, as I put out a video the other day I don't really feel like this rare or this epic are gonna help us at all even though we do struggle in Shadowkin I would much rather build a better epic than this one with the mediocre kit that she has so we are going all in on getting Helicath, and so far we have managed to uh, slay it pretty hard. We've got five of the rares already, which I believe is all we can get right now. So we're kind of in a holding pattern as we kind of wait for the next event. Uh, I think we finished up Dungeon Divers a little earlier today. Yeah, so we're actually just trying to finish this up now and get the Epic Book and the Chaos Ore, and then we've got these tournaments that are going on right now. We were able to uh, go through and do the arena one and get that one finished this morning because we've been saving up our uh, refills. We had a bunch to use. So we've already finished the classic arena one and that was probably the easiest one to do so far. Uh, you can see here we got 650 points. I'm probably not going to push any more. We just did enough to get the rare. Now champion chase, we did go all in and we did pull pretty much all of our ancient shards because it is a 2x ancients as well. We're at 2713 right now, so the debate in my head is whether or not it's worth it to try to pull another epic and some rares to get this legendary book. But you see we're able to pick up two rares. Uh, from this event, this guy up here is going hard. 19,000, goodness. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, we've got the Champion Chase, Classic Arena, and then we got the Dragon Tournament, which I finished up a little bit earlier. I don't know if I'm going to push any further. Um... We're about 500 points out. We've still got a day, over a day left, so we, just, we may try to get that epic um, book there. I do need to farm speed gear anyway, so the Dragon's Dungeon is probably a decent one to do. So we are, uh, we're doing pretty well. We go into Champions here, and I can show you the guys. We've got a couple of them now. You can see all these, we got all these food champs that we, I think we had like 40 Ancients just about, and I had to pull pretty much all of them. Uh, I got a couple more from Clan Boss today. But you can see here, we do have him. Where is he? I thought I had him somewhere here. Is he still? Okay, I have not uh, actually leveled him up yet. What I'm doing is there is a champion training event that happens on the 12th so that we're going to double dip there. And we're going to level up these guys um, and then level up our food because we do have to have four stars for the epic to bring her to five stars. So I've actually already got some of those made here. And we do have some four star chickens as well that we can use. But we did pull all our Ancients. We got a bunch of Epics that I'm really not sure we're going to do much with. Uh, we did get a Zelata, who I think may help us in Faction Wars if we decide to build him. But we did get an Allure, uh, which is kind of cool. I didn't get really any uh, Legendaries or anything amazing, but I don't have Allure on this account, so this is actually really good for us. It's going to be very helpful uh, for Fire Knight and some other areas of the game. And I was actually hoping to get a Seeker. So we could have <laughs> the ability to maybe build one of those unkillable teams, but unfortunately we did not get a seeker so we we're still seekerless on this account we did pull Rian the conjurer just to get some points so we would have to pull any of our sacreds or our voids uh, so she was I think 250 and we're gonna be using her probably for 3v3 arena at some point so I'm gonna be building her out 
And then the other champion that I did pull was Bivald of the Thorn. I had him in the portal, so I figured, you know what, we're going all in on this fusion. Normally I'd save a guy like this for like Clan vs. Clan to get the 30k points, but in this clan I'm in, we don't really go too hard on CVC, so um, I was just like, whatever, we're going for this legendary, we've got to get Helicast, so I'm just going to pull it because I, I want to save shards for the Summon Rush, because with the Summon Rush we have a chance to get one of the epics and kind of cut off some of the work. Um, so I just went ahead and pulled this guy. Besides, I think uh, he'll be pretty decent for us here. And I think that's pretty much it. I think we were working on a couple other champions. Uh, some stuff for 3v3, which I can talk about here in a second. We'll go in. You know, we, we did a big video on 3v3 this past week, too. So uh, we may talk about that a little bit. But that's kind of where we are right now. Um, we got really lucky because this came right after Clan vs. Clan. We had a lot of resources that we got from Clan vs. Clan. We've had the compensation energy of 750. I had the 1,000 energy from the gift uh, still saved in my mailbox. All the stuff they gave us for the anniversary because I kind of knew you know, we'd be having a fusion coming up. Uh, we got energy from Doom Tower the last couple days. I just kind of have been hoarding everything so far. Um, so this morning when it everything opened up, it's like I had auto battles. I had like 3,000 energy. And we just went in and slammed Dragon super hard. We got the Dungeon Divers done, got the Dragon event done, uh, did the Arena event, pulled all our shards. And we're like I said, we're going pretty hard, uh, even on the free-to-play account here. We really want to get this Legendary. So we do still have some extra energy available if we need it. In the Bazaar, we can get another 300. Uh, I actually went in today and got uh, some more gold bars. We've been we've still been pushing the 3 video. I'm trying to refresh to get some easier matches like this, hopefully. But, um, you know, we did our big video on it. I'll kind of show you how... Uh, we've been hit once on defense so far, but today, you know, we kind of went in. It's kind of hit or miss. It's like every other, every other fight. We lost three in a row here. Um, I've been re retooling some of my teams since I made the video. Maybe we can show you guys some of that here. And uh, we're gonna start building some other stuff for three v three. As I said, you know, it's just tough right now. Now you can see the teams that I did go in and do here. Um, I actually moved Warlord up into my main team here, and then I built a team with a speed booster uh, to hopefully go a little faster with uh actually repurpose kale a little bit here and um i just made him straight up nuker because like i said on this account we're not really doing too well for nukers so we got kale at 91 and 232 i did get him in some cruel gear as well his attack's kind of low uh but this was the best i could do for him and uh he still hits pretty hard on his a2 because you only need 85 percent crit rate on that attack so we brought in stagnite for the decreased defense but what i'm noticing is we just we just need more uh, more flexibility with our champions. So I actually did have another Madame Saris in the vault and I'm gonna build a second Madame Saris so that we do have a little bit more uh, buff strip utility with her and we can run two of her and then I'm gonna bring in Rian the Conjurer, possibly build a team with Marquez as the nuker there since Rian does have the weaken uh, ability. Uh, we'll probably lose this match because it is Lix and Astralon. They're a pretty tough team to deal with here, but yeah, we're already, we're already done. Let's, let's just go ahead and skip. <laughs> Uh, the one thing I noticed today when I did my 10 fights is like everybody in silver one is faster than me. It's crazy. It's just like I've got my Arbiter at like 324. I think my Kaimar lead on the other team is like almost 290 and I don't outspeed anybody. It's crazy. Um, you know, I'm spoiled on my main account where I have three speed leads well over 340 speed. So I usually can do pretty well there and I have a really good go second team there that is pretty tough for people to beat. But here on this account, you know, without the speed gear, uh, it's just crazy how fast some of these teams are in Silver 1. So, you know, I understand why people don't like 3v3. It, it's definitely a struggle if you don't have the gear. <clears throat> like some of these teams, you know, will go and like this one here, we got three speed leads. We can try to fight this team, but you know, who knows if we're gonna, we're gonna go first or not. And as I said in the other video, you know, a lot of people are saying, oh, the speed meta is dead. And honestly, those people are kind of incorrect. Uh, they're probably just playing up in the top 1% of the game where you do have a lot of different metas that go on besides the speed meta, but everywhere else in the game, um, speed is speed is king. Uh, if you can't go first in arena, in most cases, 90% of the time at least, you're, you're gonna lose the, lose the match. Um, I don't know if Arbiter's gonna be able to get a revive off here or not, but it's not looking too good for us. Yeah, that's probably it. So you can see here again, we're a slower team, so we lose. That's just how it works right now. Now we do go first here, which is good. And Kale's able to nuke everybody, so that works. Now this team, we gotta try to take out this Gore Grab really quickly. Now I did change my Mountain King around. He is now in a Relentless set. But here with the Moshalot, he's feared, so it doesn't really matter. That's gonna always proc when we're on offense, because that's just the way that it works. 
And now that Bogoth is dead, this is probably a non deal. So you can see there, two out of the three matches, we didn't go first and we lost. That's that's pretty much how it goes. Uh, now in the game. I'm trying to see if there's anybody else here. The cat is just absolutely upset with me right now for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. We'll try one more match here and then maybe we will jump into a clan boss key really quick. We'll do an update on Faction Wars as well because we have been making some good progress uh, in Faction Wars on this account. All right, so we do win the first one. Okay, we go second here. We might win this one too. See if Kale can get off a big hit here. Okay, nice. So we repurposed Kale. Like I said, I really haven't been using him anywhere. So I kind of took him out of his poison accuracy build and just put him into a straight nuke build. Uh, just for that one shot wonder, hopefully on his A2, he's going to hit hard enough to wipe the other team. Uh, this is another Mashalad. It's one of the champions I do wish that I had. He's really good in Arena and a lot of other places. But you see there with that fear, uh, he's basically just going to keep us locked down. He's got the leech. He's got all kinds of different abilities. So Mountain King's down. We've got to get a revive off here. Otherwise, um, okay, that's it. But no big deal. We got two out of three there. So <clears throat> I think we're going to be able to just kind of stay in silver one for a while. I don't feel like I can beat the teams at the top quite yet. We don't have good enough speed here um, on this account just yet. But we've got a couple of matches in, so that's good. Let's go ahead and jump out here. So let's take a look at Faction Wars. We're up to 818 stars now. Uh, well, the funny thing is we did finish Night Revenant. Uh, I could not believe it. I was actually pretty shocked. We finished Night Revenant pretty easily, actually. Uh, and I didn't have to build Faceless, which really surprised me. I don't have a Skull Crown. I don't have a Sinesha on this. I think uh, we just kind of used Miscreated Monster and his stun. And Tomb Lord, uh, I booked Tomb Lord this past CVC finally finished his books and he is an absolute carry in Night Revenant. He is insanely good. Uh, he basically carried our team for us. It's funny because the boss has that 12 turn heal and we put so much poison on the boss with the Tomb Lord that when it was right before the turn she was going to take the heal like the poison just completely wiped out like a quarter of her health bar. It was pretty cool. So we got Night Revenant done which was pretty crazy. I talked about Lizardmen. We got that finished. Um, Ogre Tribes were actually almost finished with that one i ended up putting some gear on bellower and made him a little bit faster and i think it's actually like stage 18 or 17 we have to finish in that one we've actually three star 21 um dwarfs were really close we've got a three star stage 17 i think is the one that we could do we did finally put molly tankered into our team and we were able to easily three star um stage 21 even with her at level 50 so that was kind of cool Barbarian's done, Bannerlord's done, High Elf's done, Dark Elf's done, Sacred Order, we should be pretty close, but my Sacred Order team, it's it's actually kind of crazy, we we actually did 3 star stage 21 with this ragtag team that we've got here, we've got <laughs> level 50, <laughs> I, I came, Templar I think is this guy, Mother Superior, we've got an Uncommon in here, we've got Martyr with the counterattacks, and we've got Godseeker in Neri who is not even really, she's not booked, she has bad gear on her, uh, you know, we got a couple other options that we can try to run in here but it's kind of funny we actually did manage to three star the final stage so what i'll try to work on tomorrow is to see if i can finish up 19 and 20 and then we'll be done with the sacred order so that would be kind of cool to get that finished uh while it's open shadow king we got a lot of work to do in skinwalkers we got a lot of work to do those are probably our two weakest factions the demon spawn we are on i think level 21 and i didn't I didn't have enough keys to attempt it. So I think we got up to 21. We didn't have enough keys left uh, to attempt to beat it. So we're pretty close on Demon Spawn, uh, which actually I did just bringing in uh, Tyrant as a 50 and he really helped us there. Undead, we got uh, two more stages to go. We're kind of stuck on 20 right now. We're just like hard stuck on that, on that level. So we're in pretty good shape. Orcs, we've got some work to do. So Skinwalkers, Orcs, and Shadowkin are basically the three weakest. Uh, dwarves, we should have finished next time it's open. And then Sacred Order, we hopefully will get done uh, tonight or tomorrow. So we're getting close, we're getting close, uh, getting close to getting that Lydia, which will be really awesome for our account. Let's jump into Clan Boss. We do have one Clan key to run here real quick, and then we'll kind of end the episode. But we are still running pretty hard on Ultra Nightmare. We'll be able to three key every affinity now, which is pretty cool. I can almost two key magic. Look how close we got today, 67.9. <laughs> So I think with further Great Hall improvements, um, I think we'll be in good shape. This team actually did one key nightmare, which is great. Cause now whenever it's magic, if it's magic, magic, I can do three and one usually, uh, which is pretty awesome. 
for this uh, for this now. And then when it goes force, I can just bring in Martyr uh, as the lead on this team and pretty much get the same results. So it's pretty great. Let's go ahead and run one more key on Ultra Nightmare since we have to. It's unfortunate we missed it by like 3.4 million or something like that. So we'll just go in here. And the nice thing about these teams, they're all auto. There's no speed to and there's nothing. We didn't really have to do much work on them other than just build the champions. Um, everybody's fully booked. Everybody's got decent gear. Uh, except for Geomancer. I still need to work on Geomancer, but he's still putting in a ton of work um, on this team whenever we do magic. Uh, magic and force. Uh, he's, he's putting out 15 plus million most of the time, so pretty solid little team we got here. I'm, I'm very happy we were finally able to get these champions all built. And that's kind of why I don't have speed gear for Arena in 3v3 is because I spent so much time uh, working on my clan boss teams trying to get to that, that three key ultra nightmare minimum because I tell you what, you don't have you don't have the unkillable. Like I'm spoiled on my main account. I've got a bad eater team that I've had for over a year, and it's just like you just go on there and you 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 press a couple buttons and then you press auto and it just does it by itself and it one keys like it's like magic. You know, it's just wonderful. But if you don't have the unkillable team and you've got to build a traditional clan boss team using you know like the attack down and the counter attack and and the poison, it gets really difficult, especially with the gear requirements you need making that jump to ultra nightmare. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Like I've shown in some of the other videos, we run uh, a lot of these champions pretty close to 4,000 defense, and we're still able to get the 100% crit rate and some other stats on them. Um, you know, it's nice having Sepulchre Sentinel now and Martyr because they're both defense aura leads, and that's kind of why these teams are the way they are. It's kind of why we have the Rosin uh, in there as a damage dealer because he does benefit from those uh, defensive stats. So getting that higher defense really helps him do a little bit more damage. They're getting off to a little bit of a slow start here. They're only at 7 million. Usually they're right about a million per turn on this boss, but you never know. There's all kinds of weird RNG things that play into the clan boss if uh, Aox is not landing a bunch of poisons. That's the only kind of issue we have with this team is Aox is our main poisoner. We kind of went away from poison on this uh, team because Geomancer is able to do so much damage when, as long as his HP burn. Uh, is up on the clan boss and the nice thing is he gets I, I have him programmed so he does the HP burn on his very first turn and then you can see um, anytime Aox gets hit he's going to extend random debuffs on the clan boss so if you look at the clan boss you can see here uh, you know he's got the weaken up for five turns he's got the HP burn up for five turns um, you know poisons on him for four turns decrease attack and so every time he does his AoE and hits us um, it's going to wind up extending some of these uh, deep, but you can see that the poison went up to five, the decreased attack went up to four. So he's going to actually extend a lot of those debuffs for us, which is why Aox is such a good uh, champion for clan boss. But we got a lot of room to grow too. That's the nice thing. Actually, that's why I'm enjoying playing this account again is because the Great Hall still needs a lot of work. And now that Arena is back in an area where you could farm it a good bit, we're able to build up some of the Great Hall. I'm going to try to max out force crit damage to help Rosin out a little bit. I think I could get him to the point where he's consistently doing 10 million plus if we can get the crit damage maxed on our Great Hall for force. Um, that's going to actually not, it won't help Skullcrusher because of the ally protection. But it'll help everybody else hopefully do a little bit more damage too. Um, and we're already over the three key for today, so this is kind of just a little bit extra. We only needed three or four million on this run. Uh, so even though they're lagging a little bit behind in damage right now, they're still doing pretty good. You know, I shoot for, I think it's like 23.5 or 23.4 million per key is what I'm shooting for to get that three key. And so far we're now able to do it with all of our affinity teams, which is pretty cool. Uh, you'll notice we had a bunch of sacred shards. That's basically all from Clan Boss. And then we're going to get another one, I think, from Login this week. Uh, not from Login, but from the um, the monthly monthly quest where you, you know, 30-day logins. And doing the 500 campaign battles and all that stuff. So we'll, get, we'll have, I think, five sacreds. So we're really in a good spot for the uh, summon rush when it comes around. And... Uh, even though I'm trying to save shards on this account now, not pull so much, we're definitely going to pull on the Summon Rush because, we're, like I said, we're going all in for for Hellcath. So if I have to pull my 5 Sacreds, if I have to pull my 1400 Mystery Shards, uh, we will do it because he is a pretty amazing Legendary Champion. 
and fusions like this are not very common you know there are really good fusions all the time but there are also like this is like what i would consider like a great like great fusion like top of the line fusion like a brogni uh, like a rotos way before back in the day like a tormund um, this was one you definitely want to go for if you think you have it um, you know if it's realistic if you can't go for them, I would even I would probably not even waste my time, honestly, because I think the rares sucks and I think the epic is kind of very underwhelming. So as I said in my other videos, like unless you're absolutely desperate on Shadow Cannon, the epic is really not worth it. So um, this is kind of one of those fusions that's kind of interesting because they did only one rare and one epic, so it's kinda all or nothing, uh, in my opinion. It's like just time it's time to go all in if you want this legendary. If not, you can probably just take this one off if you're not going after the legendary. Or you don't think you can go for the legendary. Alright guys, let's at least get our average here. Can you guys at least get me the three key? They're pretty close. Damage is going to start ramping up here pretty soon. Oh, but we're there pretty comfortably though, it looks like. This team usually makes it somewhere between 35 and 40 turns, which is pretty pretty crazy considering it's not um, an unkillable team. We don't have any shields or anything. Okay, so he just whacked everybody, but we're right at 25 almost, so that's pretty good. Not bad at all, 24.9. Yeah, kind of a low run from Geo. He's usually up around 15, and Rosin actually did not do very good this time. He's usually up near 7 or 8, so that's kind of why the damage is a little bit low this time, but that's fine. No worries, we'll get another key here to be able to run that Nightmare, and we should be able to one-key that Nightmare pretty easily, since it is magic today, and we're pretty strong. Strong with the Force Champs there. So I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. And uh, one quick stop here. I kind of show you, like I said, we've been working on the Great Hall a little bit. We pretty much got all our Force stuff up almost to 6. Uh, crit damage is what we're going to go into next, I think, and try to take that all the way up to 10, since we do use so many Force Champions um, in our Clan Boss teams. And then we may start working on Spirit, because we do have Thane. Um, the problem is, like, at a stage like this, you're still developing so you want to work on everything it's like i want to i want to do everything here it's like you got to stay focused and we really need to be also getting a couple more of these to 10 because we're going to need five level 10s to clear the next section of the romantu mission so we have to keep that in mind as well so maybe we finish up magic crit damage since it's already seven but we got a lot of stuff to work on so like i said it's kind of fun i'm pretty bored of my main account i don't really have much to do there anymore so having stuff to do on this account is pretty cool. So we're up to 688 energy now after doing Doom Tower and our dailies so far and just getting some energy in. And I'm kind of debating if I'm just gonna start hoarding that until the champion training opens up. Um, Cause we gotta make sure we have plenty of energy to go hard in the champ training uh, when that does pop up. Or we could actually run some spider and get some silver. We need to get some silver ready to go for artifact enhancement, so maybe we'll farm some spider. I don't know. we got a lot of stuff to think about. But like I said, going all in on this fusion, going hard for Helicath. Really hoping I can get him. I think he'll be very helpful uh, for our account. And like I said, we're going to start trying to push harder Doom Tower later on, so maybe that will be helpful to get a champion like him on the account. But that's going to do it for this episode, guys. If you guys have enjoyed this, as always, hope you guys are having a great day. Uh, thanks as always for watching. And I will see you again next time.